So this fragrance here, I've been going on and on about the Afnon Supremacy Collection. I cannot get enough of their fragrances. They have great fragrances. It smells amazing. Everything they have smells amazing. So far, I have the one I'm speaking about today will be right here, Supremacy in Heaven. But I also have Silver and Gold. Everything that they make so far as the Supremacy Collection has been great. I don't have uh, Noir, but I'll be getting that one pretty soon. That's the black bottle. But on to this fragrance. Supremacy in Heaven. Out of the box, you get this gorgeous blue, like a sky blue, and it fades to like a like a chrome sort of color at the bottom. Has a, a silver coat of arms here and a silver uh, Celtic style lid. The lid is very weighty and it actually holds on to the bottle pretty well. So you can pick it up by the lid as well. Pop this off. Got a nice weight to it as well. Here's your atomizer. Couple of sprays. Wide, good distribution. This is a 3.4 ounce bottle. This bottle cost me around maybe $29 or $30. Very inexpensive, very affordable, excellent fragrance for that price point. I heard that this was supposed to mimic silver mountain water. I actually had, I ended up throwing it away. I had African Imports send me a bottle of their silver mountain water uh, Creed body oil. Brought it in, smelt it. It smells amazing, but it had this weird after smell that I just could not deal with it. It's, it was just raunchy. I just couldn't deal with it. I just couldn't. When I when you first smell it, it smells amazing, and it just has the potential to be a great fragrance. But after that, after about five minutes, it just turns terrible. So I tossed the whole bottle. This here doesn't do that. And when I I didn't realize that this and that oil was exactly the same. I didn't realize that this was a Silver Mountain Water alternative or clone. So I smelled them side by side. It smells exactly the same. It's like, it's spot on. This just smells sparklier, which I actually like. This smells, every single one of their fragrances has like this sparkling sort of uh, note or chord to it. I don't know if it's the nutmeg and the cardamom uh, that's in the fragrance mixed together. It kind of gives it that vibe, but this has like a sort of a sparkling uh, effect to it. This opens up with, I believe, citrus, a bergamot orange, I believe it has black currant in there. There may be some sandalwood or something like that in there. One thing I do notice and what I will say is you definitely get the citrus. You get like some grapefruit too. You definitely get the citrus. It does this weird thing with the smell. This reminds me not of Egyptian musk, but of some of the properties that Egyptian musk used to have. If you got your hands on a really good batch of Egyptian musk, there used to be like this faint very sweet sort of rotten fruit or aged fruit smell. Egyptian musk used to do that. If you got your hands on a really good batch, it used to do that. And that was one of the components that made the scent so alluring because it wasn't necessarily like a rotten fruit smell. It was just like almost like a component of it or, but it added like this depth and this sweetness to it that's just indescribable. And that's what created such an allure for that fragrance for years and years and years. When I smell this, and I heard someone else say it too, but they didn't like it. When I smell this, I get that. It's not foul. It's just got that sweet, deep sort of smell to it. And it just is perfect. Mix that with that sparkling effect that this has. This is a wonderful, wonderful fragrance for the price. I haven't smelled anything I mean, of course, besides Silver Mountain Water itself. Anything so far as clones or alternatives. This is a wonderful, loud, there's not a whole lot of alcohol, harshness or anything like that. It's just a bold, it's really bold. This smells like summer, like dead hot summer. It is strong. I believe you can wear this spring, summer, maybe fall. This is just, it's, punchy this is really punchy but it's gorgeous at the same time so that's i sprayed this cap maybe like weeks ago it's just it's just there it stays this last this last too this isn't going once you spray it it isn't going anywhere anytime soon this will last i sprayed this on in the first portion of my day i think it was around 8 30 i went to target and i was gonna do a little shopping there 
and a young lady was wiping off the baskets and sanitizing the basket. So she handed me a basket and she was just like, she was looking down and she was just like, ah, you smell nice. And I was just like, oh, thank you. You know, and I kept walking. But this stuff, like, instant. That was the first person I came in contact with that day. And that very first person complimented me. It was just like, this scent is old for it to be this price, for it to be this style, this particular layout of note. You get that citrus, you get like a, you get the citrus, you get like this clean, fresh green really quickly. It's not, it don't last long. That particular component of it doesn't last long. It's just like a really deep, uh, pungent citrus. You get some woodiness here, but that citrus is, normally how citrus dissipates and in the beginning, the sparkling citrus component to this note layout stays. It doesn't go anywhere. It's just there. This thing is, is amazing. I love the way this smells. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on. That's all you need. You don't need a whole bunch. You don't need a whole lot. You know what I mean? You don't need a lot at all. Woo! That is just beautiful. It's like this deep, rich, frozen, but warm citrus, if that makes sense. Oh man, it is set as beautiful. I can't barely really describe it. Like just picture like the sexiest orange soda that you could possibly imagine and then warm it up and then spray it on yourself. But it's like, it's something tangy in there too. I think it's the black, uh, the black currant that's in there. It kind of it kind of gives it like a little bit of a tang it's beautiful beautiful this lasts easily on me 10 hours it probably would have lasted longer but i got home and i ended up taking a shower and washing everything off but this probably will last well over 10 hours it's a beast mode performer projects excellently great price point the presentation is is excellent i rant and i rave about the supremacy collection a lot because i feel like you get a really good value you get a very good fragrance the presentation is great the company is based in dubai i believe um they give you a great size just it just it's just cool like it's something that you can actually be content and proud to have in your collection like seeing these in my collection i like seeing these in my collection being able to go over to my drawer or whatever i have my fragrances at and just to see all of these, just to see all of these sitting like that in my collection, it's, it's aesthetically it's pleasing. And the scent and the fragrances go to match it as well. Price point is excellent. 10 out of 10, easily. What I got to, what, 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 what? It's a 10 out of 10. What? Ten out of ten. Presentation is great. Smell is excellent. Projects great. Lasts a very long time. Smells unique. Smells beautiful. It's supposed to be a clone. It's an excellent copy. Great size on the bottle. Hundred meals for what? Thirty bucks. Ten out of ten. And that's the end of the video.